acordou começando no mar Me debrucei no morro pra A vida em Búzios, a gente vivia e ainda vive do turismo ah, Meu pai pescador, a minha mãe dona de casa Minha mãe cuidava da gente em casa Meu pai passava né, vários dias, dez dias no mar pescando E minha mãe em casa, ela ensinava tudo, né? Minha mãe, ela se formou na no ensino médio, né, quando ela tinha uns 62, porque antes ela cuidava da gente, ensinava a gente a lavar, passar, cozinhar, tomar conta do quintal, e estudava, sempre gostei de estudar, então meus pais sempre incentivavam, porque meu pai, não, não quero que você tenha essa dura, vida dura de pescador, né, e eu gostava, né, sendo novo ali em Búzio, mas eu sabia que eu não queria né, ser pescador, porque eu sempre gostei, imaginava, viajando o mundo, falando outros idiomas, conhecendo outras pessoas, eu tenho uma conexão bem forte com a Carolina do Sul porque foi o estado americano que eu conheci primeiro. As pessoas vinham para o Rio né, fazer like, missão, levavam médicos, dentistas, estudantes. E eu comecei a ser voluntário né, nesses projetos e comecei a conhecer muita gente. Eu levava todo mundo para minha casa, o grupo inteiro, 20, 30 pessoas. Então quando eu vim, uh, vim várias vezes de férias aqui nos Estados Unidos, e uma vez que eu fiquei seis meses aprendendo né, inglês na USC, no Midlands Tech, uma família me convidou para ficar seis meses e depois disso eu levei o filho deles para o Brasil ele morou dois anos lá em casa em Búzios e acabei recebendo um convite para trabalhar para a igreja metodista o um projeto dentro da universidade né chamado Wesley Foundation e aí já estou lá 11 anos né, trabalhando com esse grupo a gente faz missão em vários países da África América Latina aqui nos Estados Unidos né tem furacão Todo esse tipo de desastres naturais, a gente leva grupos de estudantes para trabalhar música, desenvolvendo o caráter do, do estudante. Então, tô aí. All right. Uh, we're gonna switch a little bit to English, so and then uh, make it easier. You don't need to read the subtitles like, all the time. In Brazil, I did travel all over the country because doing missions and helping bringing groups to poor areas, to the Amazon and all over the place. I met not just a lot of Americans, but a lot of Brazilians in a lot of uh, cities and places. And uh, maybe if I didn't figure out, I do talk a lot and I talk to everybody. I go on the plane, I meet everybody from the pilot to the crew. And then when I was here in the US, a friend told me, wow, well, you know so much about Brazil, the place and everything, just like easy, just you start speaking and then don't need to look in books and I think you should use this and uh, do something cool and then we thought about it well I'd like to bring people to Brazil to see the culture enjoy the place that I know there and then I create seeyouinbrazil.com anybody in the world can book trips uh, with us create the Mr. Brazil to play that character that goes all over Brazil filming and I cook a lot too showing the, the food telling Brazilian stories so I try to go to the Amazon and meet those Indians, swim with the pink dolphin, looking for the anaconda, to try to create something that people never forget in their trip. Um, so here... Actually, a lot of students work with us. We finished working with the Moore School, the business school, USC business school. I had uh, five or six uh, students working with me for a semester because um, I think when I was in college, I always had this mind to do like things and create my own business. Finally, I have that. I want to give that opportunity to the students uh, um, also. And then um, it's fun. They are very creative. So now this is bluish or oh, greenish. It's actually, but... yeah, like turquoise. Turquoise. I think I feel blessed having people working with me to try to make a, this business the better business every day. I met Luis at the Methodist Student Network at the University of South Carolina, so I was kind of trying to experiment with different kinds of denominations mostly, and I realized that MSN had a lot of diversity and that attracted me because I had um, so much exposure to different cultures back in Atlanta, and so I wanted to kind of stick around. I make fun of her all the time. People ask, how do you meet your, your wife? And I say, oh, I was there, you know, these like 
handsome Brazilian man and then she saw me uh, there and then she came in and then she said, oh, I need to talk to you, so make fun of, of her, but actually I went to talk to her. I, I play a couple instruments and I lead the music there, so and then I invite her to come and sing with me and help because every year you need new singers. So I guess after that we're still singing together. Having known so many diverse people, the language is not too much of a barrier, but since Luis talks a lot and he talks really fast because he's so passionate about things, um, it was actually more of a barrier than I expected when I first met him. Um, sometimes I would avoid his phone calls because <laughs> it's hard to understand him on the phone. I think the beginning was worse. I think now it's getting better. I'm not sure if it's getting better because of my accent is getting better or because she now understands my accent. But um, I think in the beginning it is difficult, but not just because of the, the language, but culturally we do different things. And I think in each day we help each other to come closer. So I need to be transform myself more in Tamara and she needs to transform herself more in Louise. When I think about home, I was at the airport. They say, can, can I have your home address if you lose your bag? So then come South Carolina quickly because it's the place that I arrived first. All great people that I met here uh, that I could see, wow, I come here for a country that's much richer than ours economically and see people here that give their life to help um, others the way and the level they do and having the opportunity to be together uh, with them, learning from them, uh, it's just amazing, like it's a life change. The biggest lesson that I've learned uh, was about to live the experience. And coming to the U.S. and leaving my comfort zone in Buzios, that they have the protection of your family and friends, living there in that environment that you dominate, you know everything, you know everybody from the place. But coming to another country, don't speak the language, you don't understand about health insurance, you don't understand about the economy, the system, you, you, you feel like fragile. And you have to open yourself to receive help, to meet people, and that you ask for help. It's just a fascinating opportunity to keep improving uh, day after day.